Hey folks, today I thought we'd take a look at a knife that has become near and dear to my heart. It is the Gerber Strong Arm. So this is an all-American made knife that is just for the money. It's absolutely fantastic. So in the box, you obviously get the knife and its sheath. You get a guide on how to take care of your blade. You get your warranty information and a products guide. And that's pretty much all that you get. Of course, the most important thing about it is, is that it has a limited lifetime warranty and the fact that it's made in the States. So first and foremost, let's show you the knife because it's pretty awesome. So that's what intrigued me right there, made in the US of A. The second is, is the blade thickness. Look at that guy. So if you're gonna do some batoning or just heavy use with this guy, this is fantastic. As you can tell, I've had this for a little bit and I've used it. The coating is hold, holding up just fine, um, but that blade is incredibly thick. Look at that. That's great if you're gonna beat on this blade. Um, the coating seems to be doing well, like I said. The handle is a mix of hard plastic at the top and the bottom here. Um, and then in the middle, you have this really tactile, very grippy rubber, and it just fits your hand very well. Of course, at the bottom, you have the glass breaking pummel here, um, and of course, you have a lanyard hole. So this was everything I was looking for when I was going to go take some training classes. I needed a knife that would hold up to me batoning it, to prying, to cutting, to general camp work. Um, and I didn't want to spend 300 bucks, 250 bucks. Um, yes, I know there are nicer knives out there, but this knife for the money is fantastic. I mean, you can find this on eBay for around 60 bucks, and sometimes you can find it for less. Uh, and it's American made. This, this knife is, this knife is awesome. I absolutely love this guy. So we're gonna put it through its paces here in a minute, but before we do that, let's take a look at the sheath. So as you can see, it's a, it's a mix of nylon webbing and kydex. But the most important thing is you can carry this in any way that you desire. So first of all, if you don't like this, you can take it off. There's a button right here. You just snap it off. And then you could just have this lower hard sheath that you can then mount horizontally, which is really awesome, to your belt. Or you can also mount it to molly, either upside down or or in the upright position. And if you notice, this blade is in there but good. It is in there but good. You cannot get it out unless you apply pressure to these two little thumb spots right here. So it's just really very, very, very well thought out. Um, and of course, you can wear it on your belt, right? You can wear it traditional. So it has a generous belt loop, as you can see right there. It also can go to a small belt loop, so you don't have to run it on a huge, you know, either war belt or molly belt or whatever. You can run it on a traditional belt. Absolutely love the flexibility of this. Okay, let's see how sharp it is out of the box. Now, I've been using this for a while. Good old-fashioned mil-spec paracord. Wow, that was no problem at all. No problem at all. How about nylon webbing, flat webbing that is very handy to have around. Pretty handy, cut right through that, no problem at all. All right, bank line, always useful, right? There it is. Tarred line can be very difficult for some blades to cut. This cut it with no problems. Look at that, none. Love it. And something that I always keep around in my kits is jute. So even if I double up the jute, it's so like this, can it cut it? Yeah, no problem whatsoever. So as you can see, it's adequately sharp enough and it is great. I mean, for the money, for sub $60 American made lifetime warranty, you are likely not to be able to, to beat that. All right, let's take a look and see how this guy can baton. No problems whatsoever. That guy's awesome. That is fantastic.
you're just not going to have to worry about anything because that blade is just so thick. And just in case you're wondering if this spine is sharp enough to ignite a ferro rod, let's check it out. So it's certainly sharp enough to engage a ferro rod. Okay, let's finish up like we always do with pros and cons. So the biggest pro has to be cost. Sub $60, sub $50 in some case knife. Are you kidding me? For something made in the States? With a lifetime warranty? With a super thick blade and endless mounting options? That's fantastic. I mean, whether you're going to do it for bushcraft, whether you're doing it for survival, bug out bag, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, 4-H, just, just a half, it doesn't matter. This is a great deal for an American-made knife. I mean, it just really is. Yep, there are cheaper options out there. You could go with a, you know, a basic Mora, and it would be far less. But I don't think that you would have a beefy knife that would last as long. So that right there is is perfect, right? That's that's the whole reason why you might want to get this. Um, the second one is the versatility, right? It is incredibly well thought out with all these different mounting options i mean the fact that you can go horizontal on your belt the fact that you can hang it on your belt the fact that you can put it in molly you can hang it upside down upright it's it's great you can take this part off if you don't want the nylon um it's fantastic it's great it's very very versatile so that's the second one and the third one has to be the fact that you are likely not to find any type of knife that has this thick of a spine right um, out there in this price range it's just and you know frankly it's not all that heavy it's well built and it feels good in the hand but it doesn't feel overly heavy and so that is probably my third pro now cons mm, I don't think there are any. I mean, what could you say about it? It's sharp out of the box. It has all these options. Um, I, I don't have any complaints. You can even get it in a half serrated, half regular grind uh, version. This happens to be, of course, all straight grind. But, but you know, it is, it is a very incredibly versatile, very nice um, model. I, I don't know if you could complain about it. Now, some people don't like Gerber's. They felt like they've gotten burnt in the past with their multi-tools or their pocket knives, but this is an all-American made um, version. Now, Gerber in recent years has kind of started to, you know, listen to their customers and, and brought stuff back to the States and made them here, and that's exactly what they did with this version, um, with this knife, and I, I think that you just, you just literally can't do any better for your money. I'm absolutely in love with this knife, so I have no cons at all. So if you like these type of videos, please do me a favor, share, like, and comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, be safe and be good.